Have you ever had your drone attacked by birds? It's surprisingly common in the world of drone flying, and it's a bit more complex than you might initially think. We'll dive into the avian assault on our airborne devices, exploring why these feathered foes are so keen on taking down our drones. Firstly, why do birds attack drones? Well, it's a matter of territory and instinct. Birds perceiving drones as threats within their airspace, prompting defensive maneuvers, protect their nests. Birds, especially raptors like eagles and hawks, but even gulls and pigeons are territorial creatures. And if a drone enters their domain, their instinct is to engage what they perceive as a threat. In the instance of pigeons, they'll often fly around the drone trying to dissuade any potential attack of their nests. Gulls are more pushy and will attempt to collide with the drone. They're also defending their nests, but they can be quite mischievous too. Raptors will actively try and take you out the sky uh, because they're the top predators. So how does this affect the drone and its operator? Apart from the obvious physical damage to your drone, there's also the potential to lose valuable footage or the risk of your drone falling in an inaccessible place or even somewhere dangerous or worse still, on people. And of course, your drone's not be much good if it does end up falling from the sky onto the ground. Additionally, a sudden spike in adrenaline for the operator may cause them to panic, leading to errors in judgment and potential costly mistakes. When and where are these assaults more likely? They tend to be more aggressive during nesting season, which varies for the species, but tends to be between about March and July. I've had attacks in towns and cities, and even in open countryside. Coastal areas are also hotspots for potential bird attacks. Birds are often more active between dawn and about midday. Triple S eyes are listed in the Drone Assist app, and this may help you identify areas where protected species may lie. Understanding these patterns can help drone operators plan their flights to help minimize the risks. So what can a drone pilot do to deter these feathered foes? Birds tend to notice drones that hover in one place for a time because this is something that birds can't do. If a bird gets interested, the simple solution is to fly straight up. Birds struggle to gain altitude quickly and often this is enough to deter them. Birds are often more likely to engage objects that are at the level or below the level of their nests. They also tend to engage something that's coloured like a bird. Can you change your drone in any way to deter attacks? People will often put brightly coloured skins on their drones, even googly eyes. I tend not to want to add any weight to my drones, especially the Sub 250 class, because this can put you in a different set of rules. Prop protectors may also help you avoid a collision but the trouble is with these, they're going to make your drone much less manoeuvrable if you do have to get out of the way. And again, it's something that I don't use. Your best course of action is a simple one. In many cases, the first a remote pilot will know about a bird attack is when they see their drone tumble into the ground. If you're flying just looking at the screen, there's lots of the sky you can't see. How many times after a flight have you been looking and reviewing the footage only to realize then how close you came to disaster? If you can keep good sight of your drone, you're much more likely to get an idea if birds are taking an interest. But if you see birds in the direction of your drone and they're circling, it's best to assume they're taking an interest and take evasive maneuvers. Another way to mitigate this risk is by taking somebody with you and their purpose is to check for birds and to see your drone in the sky. In summary, birds attack drones because they see them as threats to their territory. This can lead to damage to the drone and a stressful situation for the operator and even to risks of people below the drone. Attacks are more likely in nesting season. Remote pilots can reduce risk by flying at higher altitudes using evasive maneuvers if necessary. And of course you can land. Keeping good sight of your drone is often the best way to avoid confrontation. Remember in some places disturbing wildlife is a criminal offence. Understanding and respecting the natural world is a crucial part of responsible drone operation. With a bit of knowledge and some careful planning it's entirely possible to share the airspace without ruffling any feathers thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please click the like button and this is the sort of thing i do i want you to better fly in more places and uh, have less incidents or accidents with your drone so thanks for watching uh, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time